What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a free raffle. Right now, we're headed to my buddy's house to go mess with the CRX. But before we get there, let me take you guys back in time and show you guys what I did yesterday. And then we'll come back to this moment. It's kind of late in the afternoon, but I'm going to go ahead and install my starter. So you can see it's going to go right in there. Um, the last thing that we did was put all the engine mounts. You can see all these bolts are in right there in the back up there and then these when I installed it before what I did is I did this side first I slid the jack under the transmission jacked it up and I got that that one and this one then I did the back and then this one was pretty much lined up after those two were on and then I just kept sliding the jack over until we we ended up over here but then I really didn't need to jack this side up that much I'm gonna put my ground before I forget And then this bracket that goes to this guy right here, to the transmission, needs to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I put my starter in. Alright, so here's the starter. It's going to go like this. Just like that. There's two bolts to the starter. There's a small bolt and then there's a long bolt. The long one goes at the bottom, the short one goes right here at the top. So we're going to start it off, wait this isn't the short one, it's this one over here. I had a little 10 millimeter one. Alright so this is how it's going to go, the little one at the top, the big one at the bottom and what I'm going to do is put the little one first. I don't do any torque sequence or I don't torque these, this one or the other one. I just go ahead and send it in and tighten it by hand. And then I use my uh, ratchet right there. And I've never had any kind of problems. Alright you guys, so it's getting kind of late. I do want to mess with this wire harness this is a huge mess um i'm watching steven ocasio right now live the live stream that he's that he's doing and do you guys think i should redo this wire harness because look at this see it's a big mess of wires well i'm gonna have to clean everything up because tomorrow i'm gonna go mess with that CRX and it's already getting kind of dark and I want to get all my tools and all the stuff that I need for tomorrow and, and the other Civic so I'll see you guys over there in two seconds so that's how far I've gotten on the Civic um, I'll see you guys in a few seconds when we get to my buddy's house So here it is you guys, here's the CRX, it hasn't been started in how long? Two years, almost two years. Almost two years, he's had this thing for like over like nine, ten years, Yeah. probably longer. Yeah. It was B swapped, 
in like what was it like 2011 2011 yeah like around there all right so it looks like it's gonna pour we're kind of racing against time to diagnosis so what I did since it's been sitting for a long time I pulled my plugs out and I filled up this cap with oil and I poured a little bit into all three of these cylinders I'm gonna pour a little bit in here too I would say like maybe a quarter to half of a teaspoon I'm only doing this because this looks pretty dry it looks like the oil was coming out of it um, the coolant fluid is also pretty dry we're gonna top that guy off I got the battery charging we're gonna jump it and I think I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in here and we're gonna primer it before we do anything before I put these plugs back in there primer it cycle that oil through and like I was saying I put oil through here so the piston can have a little bit of oil in the rings so that's kind of where we're at we're gonna see if this fuel is even good and see if we could get this little CRX started let me give you guys a walk through of the back of it the side of it all right we're gonna crank it over and try to get the pistons to cycle it's starting to rain a little bit It's not doing anything so it wasn't turning over it wasn't doing anything the starter wasn't even clicking um, I did check all the fuses in here and I checked all the fuses inside everything looks pretty good then I came back out here and we tried to crank it again and it turned over so I'm guessing the battery must have been completely down to zero completely drained So that's kind of what we're waiting on. Um, we did get it to turn over a few times. So I went ahead and I put the plugs back in to see if this thing will fire up. I don't know if the fuel's gonna be any good, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hold on. There was like a short. Try it again. No, hold on. Dude, there was like a short. It was like sparking. All right. so I plugged in the spark plug tester to this right here and we're gonna see if there's any spark in there go ahead and turn it all right we're getting spark all right so we had to stop it's the weather there's like a storm coming right now we got everything let me see yep everything looks pretty good we're out of here we're gonna have to come back some other time so I'm back at the house, the rain stopped, and you guys seen the few tests that I did to the CRX. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded so you guys can see what's going on. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas on what else I could check. I think what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna go back and I think I'm gonna check the timing, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and I'm gonna take some starting fluid because I think I'm almost 100% positive that that fuel is bad. If that car's been sitting there for that long, that fuel is, it's gotta be bad. So those are two things that I'm gonna go do tomorrow. Timing and fuel. I could also go back and do a compression test. Maybe that could be in the future. Um, right now what I'm trying to do is just get that car started. Um, there was another, the other thing is that there was water coming out of the uh, water pump so that water pump has to be replaced um, that still shouldn't stop it from starting it should still start up so maybe tomorrow that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check timing uh, put some fluid back in there and the fuel and see if we get it started if not We'll do the compression test, like I said. But if you guys could think of anything else that I might have missed, go down below, comment, let me know, and I'll go check it out. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.